So uh, this particular device uh, is another invention of Juan Carlos Parodi, and I had the chance to uh, be part of the, uh, some of the development and improvement, and uh, also uh, we had the chance to do the uh, uh, animal work at uh, the Medical University of South Carolina, and then some initial clinical work uh, outside the US. Uh, as we know, there is a clinical need uh, for new wires. There is an increased number of interventional procedures. Uh, the patient population is getting older. We have patients with difficult anatomy. Uh, and therefore, uh, we also need to uh, improve the efficiency uh, in the interventional suite. And as we all know, uh, time is very important during the procedure. Multiple exchange of devices or wires uh, increase the uh, risk of uh, complications. So whatever we can do to minimize exchanging wires and catheters and reducing the time of the procedure will be for the benefit of the patients. And we all face uh, cases like this in which we want to do a carotid stenting and the patient has a very tortuous anatomy. And for these particular cases, uh, it's not uncommon that when you want to bring the catheter, uh, the guiding catheter into the common carotid artery, in this case on the left side, uh, everything falls down. Uh, then you want to go uh, with the with a better wire and sometimes doesn't work or you need to exchange for multiple wires. The uh, device that was uh, designed for this particular challenging anatomy by Juan Parodi is basically a, a coaxial system in which you have an 014 guide wire and over that over, uh, um, 014 wire you put an 035 wire and then you have the chance to put another component if necessary to make this guide wire even stiffer. So just to make it easy to understand, you have a wire that starts as a 1-4 and you can convert that 1-4 wire into a super stiff guide wire that will track devices over in very challenging anatomy. And in the back of the device there are some uh, uh, locking mechanisms to avoid movement between the guide wires. Here is uh, part of the animal work done at LUSC. Uh, let me show you some of the images. This is uh, the angiogram uh, on a pig model. You see both carotid arteries under a fluoroscopy. You advance the 014, which is already uh, together with the 035. And then over that guide wire, again, which are uh, coaxially placed, you advance the 035. You see the tip of the 014 uh, doesn't move. And then we can advance the uh, shuttle sheath without exchange. And of course, this is a favorable anatomy. And then, if you are using a, a carotid stent that uh, uses an 014 guide wire, you just remove the outer, which is the 035, and over the same 014, you advance and deploy the carotid stent. This type of technology can be used in other situations where, uh, you know, it's the anatomy can be challenged, like crossing over. So it's easy to cross over with an 014 and then reinforce the wire by advancing the uh, 035. And another feature of this uh, particular device is that you can uh, inject through the wire. So you can do a follow-up angiogram just injecting through the wire. And this is an example of a right vertebral artery that we couldn't go through with a regular glide wire, and now we are using this particular device. And as you can see, we can track in a very tortuous anatomy with no problem. Okay, we're gonna go back to the slide. So, 
currently, when we want to do a femoral to carotid artery access, we may uh, have to exchange different wires, and we need to use different wires, you know, to go from the groin. Sometimes we need to, if the anatomy is very tortuous, we need to go to an extra stiff wire. Then, of course, to get into the carotid, we go with a regular wire, a glide wire, and then most of the time we need an extra stiff to exchange the diagnostic catheter for the guiding catheter. And of course, afterwards, we need an 014 to go ahead with the procedure itself. Using this particular technology, no wire exchanges are necessary. You just use the coaxial system, as I explained before. And we had the chance to go uh, back to visit the family in Argentina and do some uh, cases. Here, a carotid case, a carotid angioplasty in a patient with a kind of challenging anatomy. And uh, we use uh, this particular device. You see a very tight stenosis. The patient had a contralateral 100% occlusion of the carotid artery. And we were able, through the diagnostic catheter, advance the 014, as you can see here in the external. And then we were able to advance the 035 and then progress the uh, guiding catheter to that position. And then we remove the 035 component and we use a filter over that wire, a spider filter. And you see here the spider filter over the same 014 wire. And this is the final picture after stem placement. So this uh, new, new device, and this is the schedule of the different events during the development. And uh, it, was, uh, it was expected to have uh, FDA approval and uh, um, European approval by the first quarter of 2010. And today, I had the news from the uh, engineer of the company that uh, this device has FDA uh, 510K release. So hopefully, uh, we will have this device available soon. Thank you for your attention.